Prince Charles travels thousands of miles to pay respects after heartbreaking royal death. Prince Charles has arrived in Kuwait to offer his sympathies following the death of Sheikh Sabar al Ahmad al Jaber al Sabah, the former leader of Kuwait. The leader, known as the Emir of Kuwait, died at age 91 on September the 29th. It's not clear what the Prince of Wales said during his visit, though the royal has visited Kuwait many times in the past, most recently in 2015. The official Twitter account of the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall wrote, The Prince formally offered his condolences and met with the new Emir, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf al Ahmad al Jaber al Sabah. At the end of last month, the Queen also issued her condolences to the Emir of Kuwait regarding the death of Sheikh Sabah al Sabah. She spoke of a long history of close companionship between our two families. The Queen added, Your distinguished brother devoted his life to the service of the state of Kuwait and especially its relationship with its allies and friends. He will long be remembered by all who work for regional stability, understanding between the nations and between fates, and for the humanitarian cause. I have deeply valued his friendship towards the United Kingdom and his memorable state visit in November 2012. Last Wednesday, the late Emir's younger half-brother, Crown Prince Nawaf, 83, was sworn in. The coronavirus pandemic has reportedly prevented a public funeral which would normally have led many thousands of people to the streets of Kuwait. Instead, the late Emir's family will bury him at a private funeral event. Prince Charles met both the late and current Emir before enduring a tour of the Gulf states in 2015. He was met by Sheikh Nawaf at the airport at the time before traveling on to meet Sheikh al Sabah al Sabah at the Bayan Palace. Speaking through an interpreter, Prince Charles spoke about his mother, the Queen, whom the army asked about. Charles repelled, replied, She was in remarkable form and also praised the eyesight of his father, Prince Philip, then 94. Recently, Prince Charles has been outspoken on a number of issues. As the coronavirus pandemic continues to grip the UK, the Prince of Wales warned hundreds of thousands of young people need urgent help for their futures. Writing in the Sunday Telegraph, he said, I've always felt that it is the young people who have lived through the toughest experiences who have most to offer back to society. The task ahead is unquestionably vast, but it is not insurmountable. And last month, Prince Charles also urged people to tackle the climate crisis. In a video message, he said climate change is now rapidly becoming a comprehensive catastrophe that would draft the impact of the coronavirus pandemic. He wants viewers to take a war-like footing and liken the fight against climate change to a military-style campaign. 